And when you really think about her lifespan from when she started, and we're gonna get into all of that, to where she is today, I mean, we are talking about seven decades of wowing the world. And we are so honored and so privileged to have Dolly with us. And today we have launched her brand new fragrance. And it really is taking her back to her love of her front porch, her home, her family. And this is called the Smoky Mountain Eau de Parfum and the Rollerball Set. Now, when uh, Dolly was with us and she did a scent from above, what you got is you got the beautiful scent and then you had to buy the Rollerball separately. Well, in our very special launch, you're actually getting both in one collection. Uh, so here's what we're doing. First and foremost, you get, of course, the Eau de Parfum. This is a really large 3.4 ounces. Normally, Eau de Parfums come in anywhere between like a one ounce or a two ounce, but to get 3.4 is remarkable. Then again, we have included for a dollar less than just the cost of the today special, we're actually bonusing in, just kind of putting it in there, the rollerball, which is normally $20 by itself. So this is clearly the very best value that we're gonna offer on this, uh, this value from uh, Dolly Parton. And of course, I've gotta get her here because she is the star of the day and the hour for sure. Dolly Rebecca Parton, it is good to have you with me. <laughs> well, thank you, Suzanne. Good to be with you, and thank you for the nice introduction. I don't know if I'm all that special, but you made me feel good. <laughs> well, in my heart and millions and millions of people worldwide, you absolutely are. And you know what? I might get a little bit teary about this because, you know, even before I was born, you know, my family, everybody, we've been such a big fan of yours, and I don't usually fan gush that much, but this is really such a treat for all of us, and especially our family here at HSN for having you join us for this awesome hour and I have so many questions so I even went to my producer Dolly and I said is anything actually off limits have they gotten to us and said is there anything I can't talk about now don't worry I'm not gonna get too personal but they said no no her people I don't okay. care I don't care <laughs> okay, you, can you I ask talk you a... about anything you want to oh, good okay my first question is and then we're gonna get into everything else how many wigs do you think you own well, I always make a joke about that because I wear one almost every day, so I always say I have at least 365. <laughs> but actually, I don't. I don't really count them because we change them out now and then. If you know, once I beat them to death. But I'm. <laughs> I, I'm always working. I don't really have time to do my hair you know, sitting under hair dryers or just going through all that. So they're my handicaps, I call them. But I've got quite a few, as many as I need. Well, I love <laughs> Maybe it. that many, I don't know. I love it. Well, anyway, we're really going to get into this, too, because... It is amazing, and I'm gonna take you way back on this, and then we'll get into all the details too, because it has so much to do with your childhood and your past, and that front porch sitting and singing and picking and all that kind of good stuff. But I'm gonna take you back to Lotus Ridge, Tennessee. Did I get that, did I said that correctly? No, it's Locust, Locust Ridge, Tennessee. Locust Ridge. Okay, very good. <laughs> but well, there were lotus growing around there, but it's Locust Ridge. Locust Ridge. You know those flying locusts go around? I love it. Well, and again, you know, that's kind of where the this tree. whole thing started was really that front porch in your family. It was. my. We were all country people. That's the way it is back there in the mountains. We weren't the only poor mountain people around and people that lived in cabins and out in the woods where all the, you know, you were just part of the nature back there, which was beautiful place to live. But we were just simple people living back there on Locust Ridge. And of course we lived different places throughout the years, but that was, that's the one where my first memories kind of uh, got started and remembering mom and daddy and all of us sitting on the porch singing, going to church singing and just really being part of the woods and the trees and the bees and, and learned about the birds and the bees really early on, the real ones. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. The honest to goodness ones. And again, the butterfly, we'll get into it in a second, has so much to do with uh, the environment that you were raised in. You, you came from a very musical family. I actually was digging around. I mean, I've watched documentaries on you and obviously have followed you for so many years, but I was su honestly surprised and didn't know how musical your entire family actually was. Well, my mom's people were very, very talented, and many of my dad's people as well, but the Owens family, that's kind of where we all, everybody played some sort of an instrument. They sang, they wrote, they 
We traveled around different ones as groups and sang at the churches, at the funerals, and at the shindigs. And we were one of those families that, you know, on a, on a Sunday afternoon or a Saturday, whenever people weren't having to work, we were always playing the music and enjoying that. And I loved it from day one. I, I don't ever remember a time not having music in the family. Right. Well, that kind of, again, you know, family and, and all the inspiration you had from your environment around you growing up all goes into one beautiful bottle. And I kind of want to get into that and talk about the notes, but what was the inspiration? And let's talk a little bit about the scent that you created. Well, we wanted something to seem friendly, and of course I love the name, and I, when we had our first perfume, which we'll talk about later, the scent from above, but you, you want to kind of grow and expand a little bit, and we wanted something special uh, for this, so we, they're telling us the notes, they call it, uh, in the fragrance company. I guess there's tiger orchid, there's warm tonga, tonka, is that how you say it, cashmere woods. And anyway, it's got all those special things, but really, in layman's terms, in the way that I perceive it, it's just a warm, uh, simple smell that really feel, feels and smells like something that you'd want to be surrounded with, like the mountains and like the flowers and like the trees and just that good smell that just lingers and it lasts pretty good. But I love the title and I just love the warmth of it. Don't, I see you're spraying some now. How do you like it? Girl, I was <laughs> like, so what I decided to do was I, we had a sample we could try, but I wasn't going to do it till I got on the air. So indeed, you did catch me spraying it. So th it is, it's, it's absolutely incredible. It, it like you, you. It's nice, ain't it? It's a sweet, it's sweet, warm feeling. It gives you a nice feeling, and it's really, you know, we try hard to make sure that whatever we put out is something that people will enjoy. And I really like this one myself a lot. Maybe, maybe the name had a lot to do with it for me and the memories that it conjured up for me. But I think uh, whether you're from the Smoky Mountains or whether you've been there, mm -hmm. or no matter where you're from, I think that this scent is something that you're gonna enjoy and feel comfortable in and, and get good feelings. And when you get a, a good whiff of it now and then, I think it's gonna, you know, make you happy and feel good. It is, and it's, you know, here's what I find so interesting, Dolly, is, and again, I've been very blessed to do this job for a really long time, and I've talked about scents on the air. Um, it is a very difficult category to jump into because there's so many choices out there. And I always admire when someone comes up with a really distinct scent, something that's warm and yet a little flowery. There's a little sexiness to it, by the way, that sandalwood down below. Um, but what I love is I, I, to find something really, unique because there's thousands of different perfumes out there that to me you guys is makes this so exciting and you're gonna love the experience of it, it I'm such a nerd I got little chill bumps um, it is definitely one uh -huh. of those great experiences when you put it on and it for me and I've been to the Smoky Mountain my family we went to Smoky Mountains all the time Pigeon Forge and all over there you know we loved it and we went down that way that was our family we brought the camper stuck it on the back of the station wagon drove down through to the Smoky Mountains. And so I have amazing great memories, all the bears and all the bear stops and all that. And it is one of the most remarkable places on earth. And, and I think what you've done, because you understand th where you grew up from in that area so well, is you actually have captured all the beautiful scents that you would find if you were taking a hike along the Smoky Mountains or the florals that are nearby. Uh, and thank you for doing that. It's, it's amazing to be able to vividly create images in my head over a scent, and I think you've done that. Well, I, that's what I hope to conjure up the Smoky Mountains because we have the the biggest array of trees in all of North America in the Smoky Mountains, and we have all these wonderful flowers that bloom all over the place. So all through the summer, uh, you know, and the fall, you know, we have all these incredible smells, and I think that we've captured that warmth and that feeling of fun and uh, you know it's, it's like how you don't really know how to describe a smell mm -hmm. uh, but you know you, you you know that it's something that you you feel comfortable in it makes you feel good it's kind of like a little hug that smells good and so I love the whole idea that it's just got you know all that warmth in it and I've been practicing with it uh, over the last few days when we came out with it to see how long it lasts because as you mentioned earlier sometimes you'll put on something and it goes right away or sometimes you'll put something on and you can't get rid of it and you wish you 
you know, wish it would go away. But I really think this really goes on uh, smelling really good and really uh, comforting, and and it's like it's a pleasure. Uh, every every now and then it throws off that that good smell as you walk around, mm -hmm. and it doesn't like. Uh, overwhelm you, but it's it's there, and you smell good. And if somebody walks by you, it's like, ooh, what's that? That smells good. So that's what you really want. It's like, what where do I? What is that? What's the name of that? Can I have that? It's Smoky Mountains. Yeah. So anyway, if you get get into them Smoky, get into the Smoky Mountains, you're not going to want to get out. So with our Smoky Mountain <laughs> perfume, I think people are going to love it. It's very true too. Okay, so let's do this. I know for a lot of people, and Dolly, this must be pretty funny for you because you launched your first set with us, huge success. This is obviously very popular today. Um, but selling scent on television is an interesting experience because you guys can't smell it, right? So I always find this to be fascinating that we even do this and it's very successful. Um, what I like about buying it right now is you have until the end of January. So if you put this on and you're like, if, if you don't get multiple compliments, people saying, oh my gosh, like Dolly said, what is that you're wearing? You can send it back at the end of January. It is our best testing window. So if you're a little nervous saying, well, I love Dolly and boy, her scent's probably great because she's great. Go ahead and try it right now and grab it. You could keep the beautiful Eau de Parfum yourself or Eau de Toilette yourself or Eau de Parfum, excuse me, and maybe give away the rollerball or vice versa. If you already have her original scent that we launched a couple of months ago, this is that brilliant follow-up. It is it rivals how amazing the original scent is with a completely different, deeper experience. So do not fear. I know you're like maybe brand new. You knew Dolly was going to be on and you're like, I have never bought perfume over television. Well, do not fear. You've got a huge return window if you don't love it. But I think personally, everyone is going to fall in love with it. There's just something about all those notes that Dolly talked about that's so evoking and it really brings you in. And for many people, Dolly, this, I believe, will become their signature scent. Have you ever had anybody in your life in the past where if you, even today, you smell that perfume they were wearing, it brings you back to that very person? Absolutely. All my life. And I think so many people will stick with the same perfume for years and years and years. And I've had people that when I created a first um, perfume, the scent from above, you know, people used to walk around, you know, follow me around to see what I was wearing. And the same with this, because it still has that, you can still, t it still smells like me. And getting back to what you said, I want to make a point of that. When you said that people could return it at the end of January, if they don't like it, I want you to buy it, not because you like me. I want you to buy it and like that and hope that you will keep it. And I, I believe you'll want to. And also the ones that do like me, they can keep the little souvenir, you know, if, if you like it, the little bottle and all. So that's actually part of the whole intrigue of, of both the perfumes that we have is the, you know, the bottle with the butterfly. And it just says so much about what I've represented in my career with the love and the butterflies and all. But I don't think anybody's going to want to send it back. But if they do, well, we'll take it back and we'll come up with another one you'll like better later on. <laughs> I'll send you, you the first one. <laughs> we'll <laughs> exchange them maybe. Okay. <laughs> well, truly, I don't think it's coming back. But I do think buying perfume is an interesting experience when you can't smell it. So I just want to make you guys feel assured not to worry. You're going to love it. Uh, Dolly, did you have fun creating this um, eau, de, eau de parfum? Yes, I did, and I had fun, you know, when this all started just a few years back before I ever, you know, started into that, I'd always wanted to have a great uh, a perfume, eau de parfum, <laughs> anyway, uh, eau de parfum, is that how we say it? Yeah. Anyway, it, I, I was uh, very involved in, in coming up with the scent and smelling things, working things. It's really a process. It's not something you just go, just take this, take that, and say, put that in a bottle, we'll sell it. I wanted to smell. We tested everything because I wanted to have something that I would want to wear myself and that I would wear myself. So I wouldn't want to do something that I w wouldn't be comfortable in, in wearing and enjoying because when I smell all the stuff, I think, ooh, I like that, you know, or, you know, this is going to be good. So I had fun putting it together. I had fun naming it, had fun, you know, just putting the whole little thing together with this particular one, but I'm proud of it, and I wear it, and so I hope that people that buy it will enjoy it.
Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm sure they will too. Um, I do want to mention, if you do not want to run out of this, which again, once you try it, I think this will absolutely be one of your favorite scents of all time. And I'm really super sensitive to scent. I really am. I don't like sicky sweet smells. I don't like overly synthetic-y smells. Um, so it's very difficult for me to find a scent that I truly am passionate about. This one, I think you will be. This one, I'm. Uh, this is such a home run. We have auto ship on this. Now this is really amazing. When Dolly's done and we finish talking about this, this price for the set, if we have any left, will go up to $79, which is still amazing for the uh, Eau de Parfum and the Rollerball. Um, don't wait for that to happen. Get on auto ship now. You can always change it, slow it down, speed it up, but we have this available so you keep getting today's sale price for as long as you stay in auto ship. And it delivers every 90 days, but no worries, guys. If you say, well, that's, I'm not using it up in 90, that's okay, you can slow it down. I've had auto ship before where I slowed one of mine down. I still have it, I just needed more time because I wasn't using all the product up. So we have auto ship, but the challenge is, is getting the auto ship while it's available and getting this while it's available since you're looking at the premiere launch. So now's the time to be able to do that and grab the auto ship. We've sold over 4,100 of the sets today. I have less than 2,000 of the auto ship, which means you will not lose that price you're seeing, the $58. Now just to kind of break down the value that our teams together we're able to do for you, this will normally day in and day out be $59. So we're down a dollar less than what this would be, right? So now we've actually bonused in. So you're less than the normal price for the 3.4 ounce Smoky Mountain Eau de Parfum a dollar less. Oh, and by the way, we throw in the Eau de Parfum Rollerball, which is included. When Dolly launched her original scent, a scent from above, the Rollerball was a separate purchase. She had to buy that separately. Now we've combined the two together and did it at just an incredible, incredible value. Okay, so Dolly, I kind of want to do a 360 on your gorgeous bottle because every little aspect is so special and so wonderful. So of course, let's start with your iconic butterfly. Why the butterfly? Well, that's a part of the Smoky Mountains, too, as I've mentioned before, because I loved butterflies as a little girl. And because of all those beautiful flowers and trees I talked about earlier, we had hundreds and hundreds of the most beautiful butterflies every year and I was so fascinated as a child with all that color they were gentle I was not afraid of them and so they just reminded me of myself just wanting to go about my life just being colorful and gentle and being sweet so I just fell in love with butterflies as a child and used to chase them and get lost in the woods looking for them and so I just kind of took that on as my emblem or my symbol and through the years I even wrote songs about them one of my biggest songs ever is called love is like a butterfly and even the W in my Dollywood theme park is a butterfly so of course when I started to do the perfumes uh, with the scent from above and this one uh, we wanted to have this beautiful bottle which that signature on the glass bottle is also the famous signature you know, my logo my brand so to speak uh, that's what we use with that, but then the butterfly just tops it off, if you'll pardon expression, as the top of the, of the bottle, which it just seems to be right for me. Well, and I love all the fastening that you did on the butterfly, too, because even if you, here's the thing, you, you're going to use it up, I know that, but you're totally going to keep the bottle, just because it's so pretty. You know, put it out on a little counter, put it out in your bathroom, maybe where you do your makeup area and your hair. It is just exquisite. And this is all glass, what you're seeing here on the base. Um, it's just really wonderfully executed. I love the embossed, raised feeling of that glass. And then, of course, you can see, as Dolly was mentioning, her, uh, her um, uh, famous signature you're seeing on the front as well and then yeah. all of that great faceting that just makes this sparkle you know what it does dolly it gives all of us a moment of beauty in our lives in what can be a really crazy world just looking at the bottle and then when you put the scent on i have it on now and i just i literally you saw me i ran my hand through it right it is yeah i, I get, did i did the same thing I thought when I came down, I thought, well, I got to put that on if I'm on TV. So I got, <laughs> so I'll smell like a uh, de parfum. <laughs> and I always get a kick out of all that, a country girl trying to say all these fancy names. But I'm just so proud to have it. And earlier on, when you were talking about the butterflies, I've had several people that bought the uh, other perfume, the scent from above, 
uh, they taking the bottle tops and putting strings on them, and, and they're hanging them on their Christmas tree this year. I've had two or three people say, oh, I saved some of my bottle tops, and uh, <laughs> and I'm hanging them on my tree. So, tis what the season. So, I guess you could, you could hang it on the tree and put it back on your bottle after the tree. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Isn't that clever? If you wanted to. Absolutely yeah, it's clever. got that little neck thing where you can actually hook that around. But anyway, I love the butterflies, and I'm just proud of the whole little package, and I was proud of the first one, and how well we did at, at, your, uh, at the network here uh, to sell so well, and then to actually got to talk to a lot of the fans that called in, and uh, that was really a big, exciting time when I really launched the fact that I was going to be doing uh, you know, having perfumes or scents, a scent from above and now this one. So I was really excited about this one because it's about home. And I could name it Smoky Mountain because I'm a Smoky Mountain girl mm -hmm. and I just remember so many warm things. And I'm hoping that that feeling that I get from the smell and what we put together will remind people of just warmth and family and just good times. And sure. it's just a good smell and it's good for daytime and it's good for nighttime. Mm, oh and yeah. you can, I've actually mixed the two together because I'm good about mixing things all my, all through the years, I'll have a, a smell I like and then I think, well, I like that one too. So you can kind of mix and match them if you want. Of course, I overdo everything, but it works for me. <laughs> well, I gotta love it. Okay, so this is something interesting because, you know, again, I'm so, uh, I'm really truly honored to be able to be on with you today. This is amazing for me. And I've got a question. I mean, you've had a career that spans seven decades. Um, what a lot of people might not know is that you actually made your first Opry appearance when you were 13 years old. What was that like when you got to the Grand Old Opry? Well, that was amazing. My Uncle Bill Owens, who is from the Smoky Mountains, all my people are, he used to take me back and forth to Nashville because I was writing songs then and we were writing things together and he was trying to help me get, get my career launched. He just thought I had a chance. So we'd get in that old beat up car and drive back and forth from Nashville, sleep in the car, get a loaf of bread, a, you know, some bologna or whatever, and kind of, that was our house. That was, I had, my bedroom was in the back and his was in the front. So the front and the back seat. And I'd put on, you know, I'd clean up in a service stations and then I would, uh, you know, get ready to go do things. So when a chance I had to be on the Grand Ole Opry at 13 was an amazing, amazing thing because we could only hear the Grand Ole Opry back home. Yeah. And so just the fact that I got to be on the Grand Ole Opry thinking that my family was listening to me back home was an amazing feeling. What a moment. Were you nervous? Well, I was scared to death. How, I mean, how can you, you know, I, I mean, that's <laughs> like I love what I do, but I always get those butterflies, if you'll pardon the expression, even when I go on now, because as soon as the lights hit me, you know, I'm, I'm okay. But yeah, I was scared, but I was excited too, and I've always uh, always said that my, my desire to do something is always greater than my fear. And of course, I had my Uncle Bill there, and so I did it, and look what happened. Here I am selling Smoky Mountain, uh, oh, da perfume, or whatever we call it. I mean, that's a long way. It's a long way from the Smoky Mountains to the top of the world to having, being able to have your own perfumes and your own scents and your own cosmetics and to have what they call your brand. But I was dreaming about it even then, so I'm proud to be a Smoky Mountain girl, and I'm proud to have this Smoky Mountain Oh, du parfum. Oh, du parfum. It's so fancy like, right? I even had to figure out how to say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's eau de parfum. Yeah, I know. I just call oh. it perfume. Me and my folks just call it, you know, <laughs> just perfume. It's all perfume does. It's either <laughs> the thick one or the thin one or the whatever. But exactly. that's all those big words we don't know and all what they call the notes. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was what the, the ingredients that are in it. I always think of the notes as being music. So we were talking earlier, but that scent, and music really go together because oh, they true. really, uh, you know, it triggers memories. Music, duh, you know, will do that, and so will sense that you remember from the past. But anyway, it, it's just fun to have seen that journey from when I started. As I was ten years old when I started, that's mm -hmm. why I uh, started singing on local radio and TV, and that's why you're saying that I've had seven decades. You know, I've been doing this my whole life, and now to be able to branch out from the music and all that, and be able to do things like that, like this, and to actually have something 
to present to my fans other than just the music. It's, it's nice. That's what they call branding. Once you've lived long enough to create a name, then you can get to do other things. And this is a fun, a fun part for me right here. I love all this. Well, let me take you back. As a 13-year-old girl standing the first time in the Grand Ole Opry and you're gonna sing and perform, um, and then fast forward, you know, seven decades later, seven uh, decades later, does it, do you ever stop and go, wow, how things have changed? Like things like, not just your career and everything you've done and the movies and the hits, oh my gosh, so many hits and so many wonderful things that you've done. But this one blew me away. You have three billion worldwide streams. Was a little girl at 13 on the Grand Ole Opry stage, could you ever imagine your music three billion streams like there wasn't even a word we knew back then you know what i mean how does that feel i know the only streams i know i'm streaming big worldwide now but the only streams i knew then were the ones that were running down you know down in front of our uh, yard or over on you know on the river or whatever but to uh, think about that you know i just always wanted to be a singer i wanted to be a star i used to you know put the that tobacco stick on the porch uh, between a crack and put a tin can on it and pretend I was singing on the Grand Ole Opry. Then I got to really sing on the Grand Ole Opry. Then I got to sing on all these stages all around the world. But you never know what's going to happen to you. You just hope for the best. You just go uh, dreaming and you just keep on dreaming. And I have been so blessed and so lucky in my life to have so many good people like my Uncle Bill support me. My family was always very supportive. But I was just a hard worker too. I get my work, work ethic from my dad and I get my talent and my, a lot of my spirituality and stuff from my mom's side. But my dad was a worker. He, he would work till he fell over. I'm the same way. So there's a lot of, there's that element of working for it too, not just dreaming about it. And you've often heard when I would say, you, if you've got dreams, you've got to, they're not going to come true on their own. You've got to put legs, wings, you know, feet, arms, and thought into it if you're going to have dreams come true. But I was always willing to sacrifice what, you know, whatever I needed to do to make it come true. But right. I thank God every day, and I've asked for guidance every day to, to know the right decisions to make and bring the right people into my life, take all the wrong ones out. And mm -hmm. you run across some that are not all that, great but you learn to have when you how much you can compromise and how much you, you know you have to stay true to yourself and to your principles and your values so i've been very fortunate and here i am at you know 76 years old and i was 13 years old then wow. and it's amazing and i used to wonder you know if i made it in in my career what i what people would say about me or how how people would uh, remember me and now that i am older it just makes me feel so great for people like you to say such wonderful things and and to say that I at least have meant something to somebody. So oh I'll, I'll keep trying. Well, and you know what? The hits and the, and the, and the accolades st keep rolling. I did want to bring one recently that I heard the other day, and I absolutely fell in love with it. You did it with uh, Zach Williams, and you won a Grammy for it. Um, uh, there was Jesus. Oh, my goodness. The first time I heard that one. And, and it's amazing that you, you know, you're able to continue with this rigorous schedule you have. I mean, you're busier than I've ever... I, well, I don't know, but from my far vantage point I'm like Dolly Parton is everywhere right now this is amazing and that is such a beautiful song and then you did you did the Christmas special that I know is replaying later this month your New Year's Eve with your goddaughters coming up I mean girl you are <laughs> on fire <laughs> well I have a lot on my plate I don't think I have a plate anymore mine's a platter you know it's turned <laughs> into a platter one. but I yeah, a great big flatter. But I'm very fortunate, and I, you know, that old saying, make hay while the sun shines, you know, I want to try to do everything I can while, you know, while people do seem to want me to be doing it, and I'm loving it, because I'm sure there'll come a time when, for whatever reason, I won't be able to do it, but I'm going to keep doing it because I love it. It energizes me, and I think it keeps me, uh, not that I'm young, but it's, it keeps my attitude young. It keeps me... It keeps me going because I live on spiritual and creative energy. That's what keeps me going. That's why they call me the Energizer Bunny because I don't know how to stop and I don't know when to stop. But I figure <laughs> when it's time, I'll know. But for now, I'm just going to keep doing everything I can. I know there's so much going on. I think, Lord, I bet people just want to puke if they hear another word about 
Don't want Holly Parton. But oh, never. You know, for now, never. I'm just going to keep doing it till somebody says stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you're an inspiration. And here's what's really interesting. It's an inspiration for a, 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 lots of generations. I mean, it's not just, I mean, it's incredibly inspiring that you're doing what you're doing and you're so incredibly busy. And, and then all the hits you've had and everyone's inspired. It doesn't matter what age a person is. Everybody can really, and even my husband, I was saying this earlier, you probably didn't hear it, but my husband really never watches me on the air. He's like, I've been doing this for a hundred years. And he's like, yeah, whatever. And when I told I was going to be on with you. That man has talked about it three times. So even the guys in your life, in your life, they're like, "Wow, Dolly Parton, really?" I mean, that's the excitement about this. And for Dolly to take the time, and we are very, very blessed, quite frankly. And I'm so honored to launch her perfumes here at HSN. That is such a great experience. And here's what you want to do: we have two things you're getting in this collection. When Dolly launched her original one, a scent from above, and we actually will talk about that later. She did just the perfume, great find, the uh, eau, de, eau de parfum and she created it you had to buy the rollerball separately so when this is sold generally here on hsn it'll be 59 dollars. so we're a dollar less just for the gorgeous eau de parfum right she added in so a dollar less there she added in the rollerball for the first time but didn't charge you the extra 20 dollars on it so you're getting both of these in our exclusive configuration when you're talking about a scent it will grab you and hold you and it's amazing and again guys i am a really sensitive. It can't be sicky sweet. I don't like that. I really am. I just am and I'm honest about it. This is fabulous. This could be your signature scent. The one you wear every day or the one you wear on special occasions. The one you wear in the morning and the one you go, I'm going out with my husband tonight. I'm going to wear it tonight too. It could be the scent where people stop you. They will. And they'll go, you've got to tell me what is that you have on. It doesn't go in front of you in the room. It's just with you. It's an extension of what the beautiful person you already are. It's just an extension of that through this amazing scent and I love the fact that it's beautifully beautifully packaged these are heirloom collections and and if you're a fan of Dolly and you're like oh my goodness you know I've got her first scent I love that I want to pick this up that's great and we love it but I want to welcome all of you who are brand new to her collection because this is something that is wildly special and I've been very blessed to work with a lot of people over a whole lot of years and I've launched a whole lot of scents here in HSN I think this one is truly a defining moment when it comes to the world of perfumes and it's hard to find you guys know that you probably tried a million of them Maybe you have a drawer full of stuff that you're like, nah, nothing ever really works. I really encourage you right now, while we still have this available, to pick it up and try it. You have until the end of January to return it, wear it. If you don't get a couple compliments, if you aren't really excited about it, you put on in that first moment, you're just like, oh my gosh, I did not smell it until I got on the set live with Dolly. And the experience is wow. I literally, Dolly, as silly as this sounds, I have a bit of goosebumps. I literally have goosebumps on me, on my arm because it's really just, it, 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 it captures you. It's so beautifully done. And you can so see and feel and sense the notes, like you're referring to music. You know, when you see, a, you know, obviously music laid out, you know, and you're trying to play along, it's all these different chords. You've been able to do what you do for music and all the songs you write and create, you, you brought chords to life in your um, Eau de Parfum that you created. Well, boy, thank you for that, because that's that you're giving me chill bumps just talking about it. And I love the passion that you're, you know, when you're, I see you spraying when we're talking at separate times, and I see you mm -hmm. there doing little things. But the passion that you're putting into it, I really think is the passion that really hopefully that people will find in the bottle, too, because it's got a, as we mentioned earlier, it's got all those flavors, the the sexy part, the warm part, the friendly part, the, the things that, it can fit any occasion and it can fit any moment. And it's, it lasts good and it's, it's really one of those things that, that I think you'll, you'll really enjoy. And I, I just love, and I love also what you said about calling it from my collection because hopefully through the years I'll be doing a lot of other things and I want all of them to be something I can be proud of and to sell with, with pride. and and have the people enjoy it. Yeah, um, okay, so I have another question to ask you because again, you have such a packed schedule. <laughs> How long was the process to create your second scent? Were you working on it when you did the first one as well or was this a separate time? Well, it was a separate time, but we were working, uh, when we worked on the first one, we were also talking about the fact, <clears throat> excuse me, that if it did well, 
then, you know, we would, well, we, we just said that we we're going to need to have some different different flavor, different fragrances as part of the collection. Mm -hmm. So we were talking about it then, but we, we got the most out of the scent from above and what we were doing, but they were working, you know, at, to getting it all created. And then I was very involved in, you know, testing, making, you know, making smelling and making sure, no, that we need a little more of this, a little more of that. Oh, that's good. And until we finally, you just say, yeah, I believe that's it. <laughs> I think that's something I will wear and enjoy and hopefully that other people will wear and enjoy it. So everything's a process. If you care about what you do, you don't want to just put out junk just because you can and put your name on it. I don't want to be embarrassed or I don't want to be, you know, to put something out that I can't take some pride in saying this, I, this is good. I'll wear it and hopefully you'll wear it and hopefully it'll make you feel as good as I do. Oh, I think it will. So, I just I mean, know of it course will. People say, oh yeah, well you're getting paid for it. Well, yeah, I am, right. but that's what, everything in business is getting paid for, but I don't want to sell you something right. just for the money, because I've got enough money right now, I wouldn't have to do the perfume, but it's not about the money now, it's about really me doing things at this point in my life that I'm proud of, and that I can get to do different things that's, uh, you know, that's not so just about the music, that I can branch out and, and do things like this, and I, and I want to, to bring my fans along with me, but I also want to sell to people out there that just want to smell good. Mm, yeah, and perfect. Smoky Mountain smells good. It, it smells great. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm Dolly, we're gonna take a little quick break, guys. We're gonna come back. We've got some more surprises for you. If you can, please use automated ordering. That is the best way. That's on .com. You just jump online, it's a couple of clicks, and you've got yours reserved. Please remember, we have free shipping all this hour, no matter what price anything's at. And on top of that, you have three flex pays. You can get this home for about $20 on any major credit card and try it out. You have end in January to send it back, but I know you're not sending it back. All right, stick around more with the incredible Dolly Parton here at HSN. Yes, Food has always been my passion, but the truth is, even in the world's best kitchens, the tools can really make or break a chef. That's why I've developed this incredible, innovative line for HSN. Let's turn the everyday into gourmet. You love to gift. We've got you covered during HSN's Gift List Weekend. 48 hours of amazing gifts in cozy clothing, beauty, electronics, and more. Gift List Weekend, December 10th and 11th. 